down in the rough. How's your day going today? Okay, so this hopefully will come to you on a work Wednesday. Mystery Diamond Painting and it came from uh, Diamond Painting Obsession. Links down below so that if you want to check it out um, and get this for yourself. Um, so yeah, this mystery canvas can't, I think it's a flower. That's my guessing. Um, we'll see. We'll see. So I'm going to attempt to do this in one sitting. So you're going to see this as a time lapse. I will be using beadboards for those of you that have not seen these before. Whoops. I've still got drills down. <laughs> from the last time I used it which is only about 20 minutes ago okay so um, I'll be using the bead boards from Dye Moon Shop because there's 20 drills I have it's 21 drills 21 colours I will be using all of these plus one tray so that's where we're going with this one so I'll be setting that up but comments below what do you think let me know what you think of the image at the end um, <laughs> um, yeah, comments, thumbs up, thumbs down. This is just going to be straight out. You're going to be listening to the mute some music while I time lapse this process. Um, and um, work out, find out how long it takes me to do this little one. So, this is a 30 by 40, 21 colors, mystery, diamond painting obsession, and we'll be kitting. My kitting up is as hard as this. So I will show you the bead boards. So they go through as a nice pair like that because you can get them as matching pairs. But I got mine with a unicorn on the back with an electric drill on the back now. Okay, so that is, uh, these are all, these are hand painted, these ones. So these are stunning. Um, diamond shop link down below um, if you're interested in these these are pricey but when you're working on a project that's got approximately 20 drills and you don't have animals or you don't have animals that jump up I can work on this leave it on the bench and it won't get disturbed I don't have to pack anything away which means I don't really have to kit up um, they do come with triangles so I will just fill this in so that, yep, they come with triangles, they also come with labels, so what I'm going to do is the easy thing, pull the labels out in a sec, I've misplaced one label, so um, yeah, I'm not, I won't be keeping these drills, so I'm not even going to be worrying about DMC code, DMC number, so these will just be One, I'm actually going to do one, two, two, three, three, four, four, probably not really necessary, but you know, five, five, six, six, seven, seven. Eight, eight, nine is the A, and ten is the C. So this is how it's going to run. Um, and wait, let me number area. So these just sit in there. This is um, it's a dry erase texture that I use on these and just baby wipes will wipe those off I can't rub them off accidentally um, but if you get the dry erase um, they're good you can't you don't knock them off and then you find that uh, you haven't accidentally wiped out something you shouldn't have you shouldn't have wiped out okay Okay, these bead boards I have used so many times. Um, 
absolutely brilliant and if you don't have to put them away <laughs> if you don't have to put drills away um, you know something like this this size not having to kit it up is absolutely brilliant so 10 11 is D Twelve is F. Look at that. There is no E and F to confuse the eyes. There's no B. So thirteen is a G. Fourteen is a H. Fifteen is a J. I could probably just put those in there and write them down later. Uh, 15, 16, K. 17 is in. 18 is Q. 19 is R. And I'll just have to remember S and T, which is no issue really. The last two. Okay. So here we go. Let's kick, let's kick this diamond painting up, shall we? And kitting up is as easy as open the bag, pour it into the tray. I'm too short to reach that far. Okay. <laughs> And I've already done it, gone the wrong way around. But there we go. One, two, three. Might have to go the right way. 402. The only, time, the only reason I'm, I'm looking at DMC codes to make sure I just get the numbers to match up. After that, I don't need to worry about it. Okay, 498. It's quite a bit of that colour. So I'm just going to. Just pegging that. Keep it right. Okay. It's number seven two one. Oop, and fill that one up. Seven nine four. Seven nine nine. Mm, I might have to go find another pig. Why do I put things where I can't remember where I put them? There they are. Okay. 
Okay, 815 is 11. Definitely don't want those bags splitting open. They're all the same cut, both look the same colour. Okay, 826 is 12. Hang on, I've got to drill in there. There we go. There's 17. Seven two eighteen. Three seven eight is nineteen. Three seven nine three seven nine nine is number twenty, which is the S and the tea. Got to work out where that went to. Okay, so that's what you'd call kitted up. <laughs> no labelling, nothing. I feel like they're on it like this. So if you like doing the what they call the snacks, this is the bead boards are brilliant for that. And I'm just going to make a crinkle. And that's gone and in the bin. Okay. So I'm going to start on this one. Um, you will I will be doing it as a um, time lapse. Uh, I can already see up here is the sky because that's the F's. Um, the D, C, ooh, that's interesting. This D's and the C's down here. Um, four and sevens, which is the orangey flowers. Okay, so that's on for the start. We'll just move this aside. There's no need to worry about anything else and I'm just going to be leaning and pulling back and working my way through. Um, you may find when I work on a small area I do actually have the beads closer. Um, I do have them like that close uh, but I'll see how we go. And uh, gents, enjoy the uh, music and the time lapse.
What do you think? <laughs> Back of a truck, pickup truck with um, pumpkins in it. And for a 30 by 40, that's pretty good. Hang on, I'll turn this light off. Okay, so there we go. Uh, colours, plenty left over. Yes, use the bead boards. Absolutely brilliant. But yeah, I had lots left over. No, no worry about running short. Um, I mean, that's that's that one. That's that one. That's uh, that one. So there was plenty there. No issue at all. If we open this up. Let's have a look. I just need to remove the pegs. So this took approximately. 20 hours um, and there's no denying that they are big pumpkins there's a lot of sparkle on that a lot of sparkle really sparkly um, I've only just got my standard room light on so there's a lot of sparkle on that but all in all it's a cute little piece um, I will say I just knocked on there. There we go. One of the things I'm wondering though is for uh, ordering in the, this has come from the US, so this is appropriate for the US time of year, um, which is fall and perfect for today because today is the 31st of October. So Halloween, I have pumpkins for Halloween. Um, however, in Australia, it is uh, spring. <laughs> So we'd be only just planting the pumpkins or something, I think, at the moment. So anyway, um, 30 by 40. I have put the link down below. Uh, Diamond Painting Obsession. I do believe this was from. And uh, watch out because I'm going to get try a few more mysteries. I'm wondering whether now, at this time of year, if you order a mystery, you're going to likely get possibly a Christmas theme. Who knows? But um, yeah, check these guys out. They are quite, not very big in the store, but um, mysteries are always fun to do, especially when they come black and white. And there was even looking at the canvas with uh, just black and white and just looking at the symbols, couldn't even work out what it was. So yeah, um, this won't get framed. This will just go into a portfolio. So Gems, I will say thank you for watching. A big special shout out and a thank you to my uh, gems, my special gems, my members, and uh, who actually saw this being made. So I actually took pictures to say, do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? And then I think we got to one point where it was guessed. Rachel Ray guessed it. Actually, no. I think it was Jane guessed it and Rachel Jack Ray also guessed it. So, yeah. Well done, ladies. Um, but yeah, thank you members and uh, gems on that note. I will say thank you for watching and bye for now.